Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I'm here today on the very, very edge of the Jerusalem neighborhood of Gilo. I didn't come to this point because I particularly wanted to see Gilo, although it's a very nice place. Gilo is one of the Jerusalem ring neighborhoods. It's built just over the Green Line, so technically construction here is controversial. But I came here today to take some video of the incredible view here that you get over Beit Jala. Beit Jala is effectively a part of Bethlehem. It's a Palestinian village that's conjoined to Bethlehem and it's literally only about 200 meters maybe 300 at best from the point I'm here on Alhambra Road. So this point I'm standing between 2000 and 2010 it would have been actually unsafe for me to be standing here because there was a massive massive uh, barrier here and that was put in place to uh, protect the residents of Gilo from sniper fire that was emanating from just across the valley here from Beit Jala. And you can actually find incredible videos here on YouTube. I'll put links in the description, if I can find them, of Palestinian militants firing on the houses here. So between 2010, 2002 and 2010 for an eight year period, Gilo was, uh, had to be protected. And you'll still see in some of the buildings on the very last rung of houses, like where I'm standing here today, uh, bullet holes from uh, the snipers. It was in 2010, I guess things settled down a bit and Israel decided that it was no longer necessary to have the fortification in place. And the people living here on the very, very far stretch of Jerusalem can go about their daily lives pretty much normal. Uh, but it was up there for eight years. What's also interesting is that you can see pretty much everything here. You can see uh, Gvish Haminerot, the um, Israeli road is going somewhere along here. And you can see the meandering course of the security barrier it's a very familiar site if you live in this part of the world or if you sort of drive out these roads and contrary to sort of what you see in the news which always almost universally depicts these you know gigantic concrete slabs with uh, graffiti on them for the vast majority of its course it's actually just a little fence it's a distinct fence however it's a fence and it's got little sand tracks on both sides of it in order to uh, detect any attempts at infiltration and the fence is smart so you can see that fence going around uh, Bethlehem as well and I guess it's kind of a weird dream of people living here that we all hope that one day things like the security barrier won't be necessary because it wasn't so long ago that it was possible for Israelis living both here and in other parts of uh, Jerusalem to come freely in and out of Bethlehem. There was no area ABC classification in place before the Oslo Accords, so things have changed pretty quickly. But this is uh, Alhambra Road in Gilo. If you do want to come out and check this view out for yourself, it is, as we said, as close as you can get to being in Bethlehem while staying in Jerusalem. Jerusalem if you can't visit Bethlehem for reasons like me you hold Israeli citizenship uh, therefore it's illegal to go into area A so this place is called Alhambra Road you can take a bus out here 71 72 or 30 or uh, you can also uh, come here by car it's about a 15 20 minute drive out of South Jerusalem really really interesting and uh, a site worth seeing if you're interested in the geopolitics and the borders and the contours of this region this is another amazing vantage point again at the edge of Gilo and you can see here that road is road 60 you can see that it goes up above the wadi beneath it you can see the traffic moving either way and that road is called Kvisha Menerot in Hebrew which literally means the road of tunnels because it literally tunnels under by Jala and you can see here the path of the road as it continues big fortification on, on either side and you can see it literally going under by Jala those big dis those big buildings there in the distance and it's fortified really really crazy on either side so that's the road you can see from here and these buildings are 